If you've been struggling in bunkers for a while, when you get in a bunker, your first objective is clearly just going to be to get the ball out. Anything on the putting green, take a couple of putts, happy days. But if you've been playing a little bit longer now, your bunker technique is quite good, you generally do get the ball out of the bunker. You might be looking for a bit more specific distance control. How can you manage to see a, a ball fly just out of the bunker or further up the green or even to a, a back pin position? Now the shot I've got here, I've just got the one pin, so I'm going to try and hit three shots, short of it, to it, and then beyond it. Now, I'm going to suggest that we try and take the same amount of sand each time, but we control the distance of the shot by controlling the distance of the golf swing. So similar to how we would hit a pitch shot, if we have a short shot, we make a short swing. For a longer shot, we have a longer swing. But in the bunker, we've got that added factor of the right amount of sand. So we want to make the right length of swing for the right amount of sand. So hopefully a short one first. So I've just tossed it out just onto the front edge of the bunker and it's rolling down on the slope there. Slightly longer one, maybe going a bit past the pin now. So we'll make a longer swing here. And that ball goes a little bit further, actually catches the flag on the way past. And if I'm going to hit a longer one now up onto that slope at the back of the green, I'm still making my setup the same, but I'm taking a longer swing. I'm taking a little bit more sand and flying it up past the green there. So three different bunker shots going three different distances, but each time taking roughly the same amount of sand from roughly the same setup, but just changing the length of swing that I have. The one caveat I would give you there, the one thing I see a lot of golfers doing correctly there, is on the longer shots particularly, they take much longer swings, but then hit more sand. They take a bigger chunk of sand, which negates the extra power they've put into it. The more power, the more sand, the club doesn't get to the ball with any more power, and the ball will still come out quite short. So next time you get a chance to practice your bunker technique, try short, medium, and long bunker shots, using short, medium, and long swings, but ensuring that you always catch the same amount of sand.